because of who I am, I get a lot of people who think, oh, I know, <laughs> Callum will know that one. I want to talk about adjusting your SWR. Now, this could be for CB or it could be for any antenna you like. But in the main, let's just concentrate on quarter waves and dipoles uh, in the main, okay? So the rule of thumb is if your um, frequency is too low, that means it's too long. So low and long. They both start with a capital L, don't they? Low and long. That's all we need to remember. So if it's too low and it's too long, it needs to come up, but how much? Now I can do some basic maths here, right? Hopefully you'll be able to follow along, but this is a funny old spreadsheet I've just got running. There's some stuff up the top here, which we'll cover in a minute, but let's just put down a frequency. Let's just put down, let's say, uh, what we use? We use CB frequencies or ham radio? Let's use CB radios. We've got an antenna that resonates on 27.1 and we want it on 27.3. Well, the speed of light is 300, which means if we divide 300 by 27.1, we'll get a wavelength, and it says it there. Let's maximize this. Wavelength, which is 11.07. Now we can divide that by four, and that's our quarter wave, 2.767 meters whatever that is in feet and by the way you can always translate just use google convert 2767 whatever that is to inches use google and it will come up with the, the the formula we'll actually give you the result so let's say but we actually want 27.2 megahertz or we can copy all this down now we're looking for uh for, we want to go from 2.76 to 2.75 so we can minus that one minus that one and it's too long too low so we need to we know we need to cut in meters 0 0.01 of a meter which is one centimeter just under half an inch now i've done the hard work for you here which is on this little spreadsheet here now you can get to this if you just do a google search for swr calculator m0 mcx you'll come to a page um, with a spreadsheet on it okay easy so far but how does this work now this relies again on a quarter wave or a dipole leg and it doesn't actually matter what the length right now is because this is pretty accurate but let's say we'll do the same one again 27.1 and we're aiming at it says resident now 27.1 we're aiming at 27 point i don't know three let's say actually it was 27.2 wasn't it it will give, give you the same result. It says we need to cut 0.1, a uh, 0.95 a centimeter, one centimeter. Okay, so you can do this for longer frequencies. 3.75, let's say, is our 80 meter band, and we want to lift it up to the DX portion of region one, which would be 3.3.795. So 22 centimeters. So it's just under a foot. Look, okay. And that's how that works. Now, some of my antennas, for instance, have got a fold over at the top. That fold over does the tuning. So in the main, let's say take a three quarter wave antenna <sighs> and we fold over the top. Now the fold over is, counts for about three times less on your tuning than one of these. So in other words, if we were going, if we had a fold over on the 12 meter band and we were tuning at 24.8 and we wanted 24.9, if it was um, centimeters, yeah. If this was a quarter wave, it would be 1.13, just over a centimeter. So that's a half an inch. However, if it's, if you're only adjusting the fold over, you need to multiply that by three. Okay. So that would be, um, inch and a half three three and a bit centimeters so there we are and that's how to tune elements okay it's kind of easy um you can hit the play uh the space bar at any point in time to see what maths i've been using here and it doesn't really matter what the element length is right now if it's a quarter wave and you cut 1.13 centimeters off to go from 28 to 20 point, no, 20 24.8 to 24.9 you will move it proportionally up all right now, I don't mind if you're subscribed or not to this channel anymore. Uh, people in the know used to remember, I had another channel once, 
and I was in the the whole world of how we grow our subscriber base okay I honestly don't care if you subscribe or not so the only only benefit is not to me the only benefit to you if you subscribe is when a new one comes out you will get notified if you click the bell if not well let's part company now and I'll see you another day on YouTube who knows all right I'll see you maybe on the next one. Bye for now.